Hi guys, we'll continue solving the questions we have at hand. So I will navigate. We'll be solving the the question. We will create a branch. So once we create a branch, we are asked to create a file. This is the question. We'll create a this file. Then we we'll update the text. This is the third question. Please follow the instruction as I will also be following the instruction. So CD. Make sure you you are yeah, in root first. So then we we'll CD into the git folder als pre pre course so we we'll cd into our ox ox01 sorry oh, ox01 git cd into our ox01 git directory so we are in this directory the first thing we are to create a branch so if you want to know which branch you are in you just do git branch so we are in master branch so we will create the branch we are asked to do which is git branch please if you are having problem with this command you can always search google so if you want to pay ctrl a v this is the branch we are asked to create update script branch so i will press it the branch has been created so now you can still check how many branch you have just for clarity we have two and the active one is master so now i'll do git check out so now i'll paste this is the this is the branch I want to use. So you see, I've switched to the update script branch now. So we have three files inside this directory. If you if you could remember the ones we've created, so let me show you. So we are asked to cd into the bash because we will be creating a, a file, a folder named ninety eight. So we'll create a file name type 98. So we have a file name 98 now. So inside this bash we have two we have ALS and screw files already. Plus this with this 98 we have three files 98 ALS and screw. Those are the files inside this bash folder so we are asked to create inside this ALS we are asked to update a text let me show you so there is inside this folder we are asked to update this to this we are asked to update this to this from ALS to ALS school so So now we can just use a uh, V. I know V might be giving people, most people probably if you are not familiar with it, but let's use V. So, but let me show you. Make sure, uh, let me show you this. This from GitHub. If you want to insert, enter insert mode in V. You use I. Press I to go to insert mode. If you want to edit your file and save changes colon w if you want to quit colon q if you want to quit save and quit at the same time this so now let's try and go to the v mode we are asked so i'll say v want to edit this file in uh, alx Alex, so let me just copy this guy in ALS. So I'll say V ALX. So 
so so you say this file is already exists yes i know so i want to edit you can just press you see the option just press e so this is what i want to edit so this is what i want to edit So I'm in insert mode now. You see. So le let me clean this guy and do Control A V. So once you've inserted and you want to quit, you just press colon colon W and Q and press Enter. Sorry. So let me show you this command. Once you so press escape. Once you finish writing what you do, press the escape keyboard. So we press the es escape keyboard. We have to press the colon W and Q. Then enter. You see, so you've edit the file using V. It's very very simple. So we've just performed this action now we've updated this text to this so inside this school they say we should update this school to the school is open so i'll copy this i'll go to v please pay attention i'll go to v so i'll say v school press enter so it will take you to the v edit mode so I will so press I it 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 is it will now take you to insert mode so let me clean this so I will just say control A V you see so we we'll finish inserting press the escape key then press colon W and the Q and press enter so we've updated the file in school also we've updated this so they say we should do commit with this message right so what so we've updated the this thing we will now we are still in the bash directory so let's go out of the bash directory with two colon so you can do git if you want to check the status of your files you do git status but we want to commit you could just say git add to commit so but if you want to commit let always be in the ox01 directory so we say git git add so the new files that are not been committed will be added so you now say git commit message control av to paste see see the branch it is using they say we should we should update on this branch so these three files has been changed and we created this file so we have three changes so now what we do now is we push to github so we did the commit we are to push we do git push put pushing everything to github because all the changes is still on our local repository to git push you need to set the upstream set upstream so this thing sometimes if you have spelling error sorry upstream 
origin so our uh, upstream will be the new this update script we are using so, oh, oh sorry i mistakenly press ctrl c oh my god git push i mistakenly i wanted to copy i i press ctrl c set upstream origin so the upstream will be oh, oh my god sorry the upstream will be the origin update script the new branch we just created update update script sorry the command line is just misbehaving so i'll put my token please if you are creating your this i mistakenly you need to remove these braces also i think that's what is causing my that is always asking me for token so here just control av you might not see you might not you, don't, you won't see the changes and i've pushed everything to the branch you see this is update stream branch that the changes were committed to so now we are asked to oh my god so we are asked to change the branch domain and we should update this alx file and delete js file so we'll change file to this so we we'll change our branch domain so how do we change to mail we do git checkout master so this git we've done the same command before so git checkout which brand do you want to branch do we want to use now let me sh let me show you the branches so that we should git branch so this one will show you all the branch you have you see we are currently using the update script brand so we want to go to our master branch so you say git checkout master see we've switched to our master branch now so the question we are asked to remove sorry we are asked to update this ALS file and change the message to this so let me show you guys we will navigate to our bash cd cd bash so we are in our bash folder let me list all the files we have in the bash we have alx and school so we have to update this alx so i'll say v alx please this alx you see it's being reading that means just press e you want to edit so once it brings you to this interface, press I. This I will activate insert. You see, you see the insert here. So I want to clean this. What they say I should type up already. I'll do Control A V. Sorry, I'll do Control A V. I've pasted it, but uh, sorry, I need to remove these question marks that comes before. I finish editing once you finish editing press the escape key once you press the escape key press colon w q and press enter so i've edited the file to what this now so they say i should delete this directory js so i will navigate to this js file so i will cd out of the bash with two so now let me list all the directories I have here. 
you see they say i should remove this js file i will now say remove r so if i do m m k m k uh, remove dir if it so this js file i have file inside if it, the js folder is empty this rmdr remove directory would have worked but since there's file inside that's why it is not what well, it won't work so i'll say js and i'll press enter it has been removed let me do ls again see i don't have the js file any longer so i will have i was asked to commit with a uh, hotfix sorry was asked to commit with hotfix so once you want to commit make sure you are in this ox01 git directory git add yes i will now say git commit the message m control av to paste the commit message okay that means i've deleted this file in js folder those files have been deleted so now i will commit everything to master and push to github so now let's do git push git push let me see okay git push sorry I, I did mistake creating so once you once you are creating token don't i don't i think this don't put this slash so that it will keep identifying your repository i think that's a mistake i made so control a v to push the token and enter So you we do the same thing sometimes because if you are pasting your token it won't show you just paste and then enter so the same thing I'll still retry control A V So let me copy. Then control A. Sorry. I will push. As for the token, I will control A V and enter. So let me push so this is really happen but uh, it's because uh, control a v and press enter so i've pushed everything to master and we've just completed this tax please like and subscribe to this channel so that we keep solving all these problems together Please kindly check the next video for the next part of the solution. Thank you.